Hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> this is Topsy Kid here in Kiev, Ukraine. So who is joining me today? We are looking at the king and you. The king and you. Let me look for my other device and share my video. <laughs> so who is joining me today? The king in you. The king in you. Do you really know you have a king living inside of you? Can you really say for yourself, I have a king living in me. There is greatness living in somebody. Hello, dude, Godfrey. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Please share this video and invite your friends. I'm talking about the king in you. Do you know you have a king in you? I want to talk about the king living inside of all of us today. So, 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 share this video, invite your friends, the king in you, hashtag beauty minds. So beauty minds is actually bringing to us a topic titled the king in you. So don't go anywhere invite your friends it's really going to be awesome it's really going to be really really awesome trust me the king in you <laughs> i know <laughs> most of us when we hear this word the king in you it signifies something like a spiritual topic <laughs> you know most of us are very religious hello sir mr diary thank you so much for joining so god bless you please share this video invite your friends we want to talk about the king in you <laughs> the king in you and if you can hear me please tell me you can hear me i want to be sure you can hear me very very well so while looking at the topic title to, uh, titled the king in you invite your friends please invite your friends and share this video we will be ready to go share this video we will be ready to go the king in you and i the king in you the king in you you know oftentimes when we talk about this topic we look at it in just the religious aspect the religious way the king in you i don't think i've heard this topic in another way that is not you know <laughs> that is not religious you know when they tell us the king lives inside of you it's all about it's all about God, it's all about the spirit man who is inside of you. But well, 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 I'm going to tell you today another different king I'm talking about here living inside of you. And the word has been waiting, endlessly waiting for it. And you can't imagine that what that king is actually, what that king is it actually is. So share this video, invite your friends, the king in you, the king in you. That is what I'm talking about today. So, 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 share, share, share. <laughs> share this video, share this video, and we will be ready to go. While I also share this video here, I want you to help me do so, do same. I'm sharing my own video here on my other device. So, share this video, share this video, guys. Let it go viral. The king in you. The king in you. Do you believe there is a king in you? Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you know the king in you? No, I don't think you do. <laughs> because really, if most of us know the king living inside of us, there are a lot of things that we will not be doing. There are a lot of things we will not do away with. And start living out that king. We start living out that king that is living inside of us. We start portraying the picture of that king living inside of us. We start bringing it out. We start bringing it out. We, we don't wait. We don't listen to anything that does not relate to the king living inside of us. We start bringing out the king living inside of us. Thank you so much, sir. Smart for joining. I love your name. I want to be smart. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Please share this video and invite your friends. <laughs> My name is Topsy Gift and I'm here in Kiev, Ukraine. So we want to look at the topic title, The King in You. I know a lot of us that are religious people who've heard this word in a different way. 
like in a um, religious way we all look at the king in you is all about the spirit living inside of you and god living inside of you well 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 <laughs> just listen you will hear another side of the king in you today and believe me and believe me this topic is really going to blow your mind this topic is really going to bless you today so just invite your friends and we will be ready to go share this video invite your friends share this video guys invite your friends the king in you do you know you have a king living inside of you do you believe you have a king living inside of you well 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 if you do believe <laughs> and you know the king living inside of you let's talk about it then let's talk about it <laughs> let's talk about it i'm sure the king you're thinking of is jesus christ right <laughs> oh god the word the holy spirit well we will find out the king really living inside of us because there's much there's more that you 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 possess than you you can imagine that you can think of that you can factor so 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 share this video share this video let's talk about the king living in you i'm trying to share my video that's why my <laughs> my eyes are my eyes is actually you know going up down and low so share this video guys share 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 the king in you i don't want to be in a haste talking about the king living in you if if we really don't share this video please i just don't want to just jump into talking about the king living in you i want everybody to to get it right i want people to be here to listen to to see the king living in them you wouldn't want to be selfish to listen alone right <laughs> Or to benefit alone you would want to at least invite somebody you would want to share minds with somebody today you know bringing out the reality the personalities in them you know the the history makers the person God has made them to be so just like I'm not selfish I'm sharing with you so you should have also be selfish sharing with others so share this video and invite your friends. We are talking about the king in you. The king in you. So as we join in, share this video. Hello, Sarah Kofi Pa. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Please share this video and invite your friends. I want to talk about the king in you. The king in you. And believe me, this topic when I was growing up, <laughs> I've heard, I've heard of uh, several times preachers preach about the king in you and it has all been spiritual because it's a king, a word king makes it look spiritual, right? <laughs> so people preach this topic but in a spiritual way and or should I say a religious way you know, talking about God, talking about the Holy Spirit living inside of you but well, that is not what I'm talking about today there's a better there's a there's another version rather to you know talking about the king in you so my husband claims the clement is telling me hello my angel how are you looking good <laughs> thank you so much sir uh, god bless you you made me look good <laughs> so 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 guys share this video with my friends tell me if you can hear me um, properly please if you can hear me properly please just tell me you can hear me so i will know we are right on point I would know we're right on point. So, looking at the king in you, there is so much to talk about this, to talk about on this topic titled The King in You. There is so much to talk about. Really, when we want to dive into this topic, it's a king we're looking at here. Like, it's a king. <laughs> we're not just talking about mm, the clothes you're having on, the companies. The wives, the kids, those are the things we're talking about. I'm talking about the king, on the line of the word, the king, in you, in I. <laughs> so, it's way beyond the outer part of us, right? <laughs> so, just share this video, invite your friends. I Believe me, you are going to enjoy this topic. You are going to be blessed today. I'm not talking about the spiritual king living in you. I'm talking about another different version of the king living in you because it is what 
is going to announce you to the world. It's something that can sustain you for the next 300 years to come. If there will be, if there will be 300 years to come, the king living in you will still be in existence even after you are long gone. That king will still be speaking where you are long gone. 300 years to come, the king in you today will speak for you till the end of this world. So, do you know the king in you? Do you know the king in you? Nobody is telling me if I'm audible or not. Can you hear me? Can you, can anybody hear me? Just tell me you can hear me, I beg you, so that I will know if I'm audible enough, uh, if the network is stable, if I'm clear and all of that. So, I'm waiting for your comments. Can somebody tell me? Um, okay, I'm good to go. The king in you. Is anybody there? Can you hear me? Please tell me you can hear me, please, guys, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Still waiting for your response. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Hello, Ma Nancy. Thank you for joining. God bless you. I am talking about the king in you. The king in you. Um, so tell me you can hear me. If I'm audible enough, tell me I'm audible. Tell me I'm good to go. Because, like I said earlier on, I've been hearing. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. She did told me. Yes, it's loud enough. God bless you. Please share this video, invite your friends. We want to look about look um, at the topic titled The King in You. The King in You. And I hope we will all be blessed today. Well, this topic is not spiritual, neither is it religious. Because I've heard people preaching about the King in You and it's all about religious. It's... it's um, uh, uh, spiritual as well <laughs> so the king in you i'm talking about it uh, is something that can live for the next 300 years of your life that if though if there will be 300 years on earth more for us to live that king in you now after you are long gone will speak for you till the end of time believe me there are some names there are some names that we all study in books today. We all research about, we all learn from, we, we learn their principles, we learn their philosophy, we learn their ways. You know, we apply them on our, on, you know, what their works, we apply it every day of our lives. But these people are long gone. They are long, long gone. But their history is still speaking for them. What they did is still speaking for them. So what was it? It was the king in them that sprang up that is speaking for, for, for them today. We can learn and we can, be, we can all be grateful to what they did. We can say, oh, blessed be this man, blessed be this woman who did this great work for our children and children, children to come. So I am a beneficiary of such and you are a beneficiary, beneficiary of such as well. Because somebody sacrificed the king in them to put up what we are enjoying today. To put up what we are all happy, you know, having today. If not for them, we would have still been in dark ages, right? We would have still been, you know, telling God, you are wicked. Why did you bring me to this wicked world, to this selfless world, to this stupid world, to this endless word, word that doesn't have meaning and all that. But thanks to the people who discovered the king in them and then beautify the world at least to the extent that it is today. And you and I had to continue where they stopped. So the development has not come to an end until Christ comes. So I'm looking about I'm looking at the king in you. The king in you. You see? Before I really dive into telling you about this king living in you, I want you to take, take your mind back to all the great names you can ever imagine. 
all the great names you, you have ever come across, all the great names you have ever read in books, you have ever, you know, um, you are seen, even while some of them are still alive, yes, all the great names you can think of. What do you think made them great? What do you think made them great? God? You think God? You think they were they were too faithful to church going? They were too faithful to tithing and offering? They were too faithful to serving God? They were too faithful, they were so religious, they were stainless without sin and spots? <laughs> well, you and I know the truth. You and I know that is not a true. In fact, some of them are even ethics. Some of them don't even believe in the God that we all serve. Some of them don't believe in Jesus Christ. But thanks to them, we are having good life today. We are we are enjoying a lot of things, right? So, what made them great? What do you think made them great? It was the king in them. What made them great was that they discovered the king living inside of them. The king that they were carrying. So they they brought out that king to be in a to be in existence. They brought out that king living inside of them to reality. And when they did that, when they did that, they did not only put joy in the heart of every man that is now, but every man that is yet to come as long as the earth still remains. So the king in you, like I said, is way more than spiritual. It's way, way more than spiritual. So do you want to know the king in you? Do you really want to know the king in you? Okay, let's start now. One of the kings living in you is what I call talent. <laughs> do, can you imagine? Do you believe that? Do you believe that one of the kings living inside of you is your talent? Is your your talent? One of the kings living in you. One of the kings living inside of you is your talent okay my husband is saying you are very much audible right on angel thank you so much my king so one of the kings living in you i repeat it again is what i call talents is what i call talents <laughs> now talents Looking at talent, it's something you are naturally gifted. Something you are natural, you, you, you didn't go, you didn't go anywhere to learn it, to learn how to do it, to do it. It's just in you. And you know the the uh, misunderstanding when it comes to talent here is that some person thought or some persons are thinking that talent is just all about how to sing, how to draw, you know, when you can do an artwork very well, oh, that is talent, or when you can sing, that is talent, or um, when, what other words, what, what are other words that are usually common in the mind of a child? You know, when we're growing up, they say, ah, this guy is talented, this boy is talented, ah, this girl is talented. You just, what they were, what they are all speaking of, it's just, is it that the girl or the boy can sing or this boy or this girl can draw when you have, when you are very good with artwork, with something like this artwork, then you have a talent. So that was like, almost like the talent we're all looking at. But there is much to, there's much more to, you know, talent. Because if you, if you watch, some people can, some people can talk. It is a gift. Is it? It's a talent. It's a gift. Some people cannot. Some people cannot even stand two persons looking at them for them to be able to express themselves. 
but this other person can speak so boldly even if the, the crowds there are over a billion he or she doesn't give a damn they can stand and talk and say everything they have inside of them that they want to say they are so bold they don't even want to care if there's a consequences to what they are if they are saying if they are making sense or talking nonsense some of them don't care except <laughs> so my dad it is when i grew up i started i started thinking like whoa 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 this this is actually a gift this is actually talent <laughs> you know somebody can actually have this as a gift it's it's yeah it's part of your temperament but it's it's a gift it's a gift so because if you look at the life of oprah Winfrey, her grandmother discovered that she she was gifted in talking she was talented in talking and the mother began to build her up in that aspect of life so if you you just um, um take talents to be just the the normal thing we all grew up knowing then you're not doing you won't do good to your children neither will you do good to yourself because when you have the ability to to talk boldly you you won't see it as anything you think oh maybe the next person has it so why should i bother myself when i can talk i think talking is general everybody talks so you wouldn't know that that talking ability that that talking ability is what made oprah Winfrey who she is today thanks to her grandmother and to herself who found thanks to her grandmother who found the king living inside of Oprah Winfrey and thanks to her as well because she also found the king living inside of her and what did they do they made good use of the king living inside of, of them of her thank you so much Mafisayo for joining God bless you please share this video invite your friends so Oprah Winfrey's grandmother discovered that this girl has you know the love and the talent and the gifting to talk she's so bold and you know they began to train her voice <laughs> how many you know when i look at africa <laughs> when a child is talk, when they call them talkative when a child is a talkative you just scream at the child will you keep quiet will you keep quiet you don't make noise you just screaming you just oh my god can i have rice in my own house <laughs> that is a sign that that child can talk and that uh, talking ability instead of you to shut it off you should celebrate it you should look for a way to build her build her such that when she talks when she opens her mouth to talk that even elderly people that are listening to her talk they will be humbled by the wisdoms coming out from a child. So rather than saying, Angel, will you shut up your mouth and go to bed? Rather than saying, Henry, shut the fuck, shut your mouth, shut up and get inside. Always shutting their mouth, trying to make them become who they are not. Why not see it as a strength instead of a weakness? When you see that ability, in that child that she he or she can talk what do you do you get books you sit the child down you teach her you get audio or video clips on how she can learn something very interesting how she can learn how to motivate people with her with her words she can learn about countries she can learn about history she can learn about a, a technology she can learn about different things a, different fields of life that's as she's going the day she will have the opportunity in public to say a word you will be amazed how much wisdom will be you know will come out of the mouth of your child such that every parent that heard her talking or that heard him talking will wish that their children are like yours So, talent is one thing that God has given to every man here on earth. Nobody will tell me, I don't have a talent. No, I don't think I have a talent. No, I don't think so. 
I think I am just a, uh, I'm just a sanguine. Oh no, I'm a choleric. No, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm phlegmatic. No, I'm this, I'm that. Oh, that's why I don't think I have. Oh, I'm too, I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm too quiet. No, I'm, I can talk too much. So I think I don't have any talent. Well, you know, sweetheart, you do have a talent. The only thing you haven't discovered is that you haven't discovered the king living inside of you. Do you know that talent is a king? Do you know that talent is a king? Is a king that when you when you walk on it, when you walk on that king, that king will live for the next 300 years to come after you are long gone. You know, Dr. Sunday Adelaja, our mentor, said to us that he has built 300 years of his life. I'm like, oh, are you, excuse me, 300 years somebody has set for himself. And I was like, I, I don't think I even have one year of my life well structured. And somebody has structured this 300 years. Excuse me, who is this man? And I was like, whoa, whoa. It's like I'm not living. It's like I'm not living. It's like I'm, it's like I'm a shadow. Thank you so much, Uche and our courier, for joining. God bless you. Please share this video and invite your friends. We are talking about the king in you. Do you know the king in you? Do you understand the king living inside of you? Is way beyond spiritual. Because I told you guys that... Several times I've heard about the king living inside of you, the king living in you, the king. It's all about spiritual. You know, we go to church, we talk about, we talk about this king living inside of you. Is it that Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, or whatever, you know, spirit inside of you? That, that is what it gets here. But I have been able to discover that the king living inside of you is not just the spirit man. But the abilities that you have that others don't have, or even if they have, the ability, your uniqueness, your passion, your talent, your giftings, your dreams, your visions, those are the kings living inside of you. Those are the kings that will pronounce you. Those are the kings that will live in the next three to 400 years of your life, if there will be 400 years. When you are long gone, those are the kings that will speak for you for the rest of your, of your history. I told you guys in the beginning of this um, uh, program that a lot of people have, have come across reading, reading their books and talk, hearing their histories and what they've done here on earth. I haven't been opportunity to see them with my eyes. Some of them are long gone. Some of them are long, long gone. But history is still speaking for them. They are, the king that they produced here on earth is what is speaking for them. Is what is speaking for us today. And thanks to those people, I wouldn't have been enjoying what they deposited here on earth. So what is that king living inside of you? Do you know the king living inside of you? Do you know the king living inside of you? No, I don't think you do. If you do, you will not be wasting your time with Uncle Sam. With the Uncle Sam system over you around the whole universe. I don't think so. So one of the kings, like I said, living inside of you, it's your talent is your talent one of the kings living inside of you is your talent don't joke with it don't play around it don't play around with it thank you so much sir uh uchechuku amadi god bless you sir for joining please share this video invite your friends i have been hearing about the king living in you in churches the king living in you oh the king is going to spring up oh the king it's all about religion it's all about sp being spiritual. But the king living in you is not just that one. It's not just the, the Holy Spirit living in you. 
one of the kings living in you is your talent. Is your talent. When that king living in you is being nurtured, is being grown, is being uh, worked on, that king will live the next 300 years of your life if there will be 300 years before Christ comes. That king, when you work on it and have a product of that king, <laughs> you will be long gone and that king will be speaking for you. A lot of people have, have read about, have listened to, have heard, have watched their documentaries, I've read on books. I haven't been opportune to see them. They are long dead, but they are not forgotten. The king living inside of you. Please share this video. Invite your friends. Thank you so much, Mr. Edwin, for joining. God bless you, sir. Please share this video. Invite your friends. The king living in you. That is what we are talking about. That is what we are talking about today. And believe me, it's not a religious topic and neither is it a spiritual topic. Yeah, I know about the king, the spiritual king living in us. But right now, I'm talking about the other kings living in you. Thank you so much, Sir Enoch, for joining. God bless you. Please share the video. Invite your friends. There is a king living in you. Do not be deceived. Do not be uh, wave, wave over by winds. By the winds of the society that is blowing up and down, the wind of a croissant raging everywhere. You know, people are just trying to follow the pattern, the way you know, the way it's done, the way everybody does that thing. Please, what is the trend? You know, how is it? How can we go about you know becoming great? You know, okay, it's just like this, like this. Get a certificate, get a job. Oh, that's let's go there, that. And the whole thing is just raging. There is a king living in you. There is a king living inside of you. And until you wake it up, it's not going to wake up. And until you wake it up, you are not going to live the next 300 years of your life. Thank you so much, my Vivian Taylor, for joining. God bless you. Please share this video and invite your friends. The king living in you. The king living in you. Do you know the king living in you? Do you understand the king living in you? Jesus. If you understand the king living in you, you would you won't be falling prey to societal deceits. What they are set for humans to run the next hundred years of their life and be dead and forgotten with nobody knowing anything about them. That is what society had all written out and planned for people. And people are busy chasing shadows and thinking they are doing God's favor and they are doing the right thing for themselves. There is a king living inside of you. And I said to you that one of the kings living in you is what I call your talents. Don't play pranks with them. When you develop that talent, when you develop it, history will, will remember it for the next 300 years, if there will be one. History will, will not forget you too soon. Heaven will not, will not wait, cannot wait to celebrate you. The good you think you are doing to God by chasing around Uncle Sam, the best you are doing for God when you understand the king in you and develop it. The best heavens, the best the angels are waiting and rejoicing for how much, for how much impact you have made here on earth. That is one of the kings living in you. The Bible said to some he gave one talent, two, three, four, and all of it. So if you, if Jesus never, um, if Jesus never valued talent, he wouldn't have brought about the story of the five talents for us. He wouldn't have brought that story for us to understand that aspect of life. If it was never in his mind, if, it, if talent is not what we need here on earth, he wouldn't have brought that for us. He wouldn't have brought that story for us to you know, read and learn from. 
he would have just made the whole scripture all spiritual so that when we come here we don't do anything we just hold our hands and wait for god to come and take us to heaven but do you know that there is more reason why you are here than just going to church yes there is listen if if all of us develop our giftings if all of us develop our talents we don't need the physical bible to go and say tell somebody god loves you jesus loves you give your life to christ our our kings the kings living inside of us the moment this person is in technology this person is in agriculture this person is in politics this person is in, in science everybody's doing what they are supposed to do bringing out the kings in them believe me the earth will be a beautiful place we don't even need to physically preach the gospel people will be giving their life to christ at ease when somebody walks up to you and say excuse me please who why do you why are you so why are you succeeding what what's the secret why are you you know making history why are you why are you so kind why are you what is this what is the value you i want to know and you are telling them that they, hello i am i am i am great today not because i i you know i just walked around uncle sam i was just being dedicated to church uh, giving offering or prayerful and all that but because i loved god i do um i give titles and offerings as i as i of course i wish to and then i develop the king in me and the person will say please lead me to your me to your christ lead me to your god i want to give my life to christ we will preach the gospel at ease when you understand the king living inside of you when you and i understand the king living inside of us we will do less work carrying the bible and struggling to tell people receive jesus or you die but at ease you are you are you are making impact on earth people will just be giving their life to christ he said if that is how christianity is please i want to give my life to christ and by the time they come you teach them principles of life you teach them god and, and relationship the world will be a beautiful place there is a king living inside of you and one of the kings living inside of you is your talent don't play with it i said before some of you guys can thank you so much uh mr C isaac for coming isaac eluma god bless you sir Darius, thank you for coming good news thank you so much for coming god bless you please share this video invite your friends i am talking about the king living inside of you there is a king living in you aziz thank you for joining please share this video and invite your friends there is a king living inside of you and that king and one of those that those kings living inside of you is your talent is your talent and that talent can produce the next 300 years of your life that talent that gift that king can produce the next 300 years of your life oh, it will produce the next 300 years of your life if you believe if you if you develop the king in you you will become a history maker you will become a a, a, a personality you become a world changer you will put you will put smiles and you will bring joy in the heart of men who live on earth god is calling you and i to turn back to return back from um, this uncle sam system to turn away from this uncle sam system and look into ourselves and discover the king living inside of you come on there is a king in you and you and if only you can know it if only you can understand how much you are carrying if only you can you can factor the mind and the heart of god for you if only you can open just a bit of his heart and see how much he is yearning he's crying for you he is wishing that you can give him one one moment to listen to him to listen to him to, so that he can reveal to you 
the unseen things you cannot imagine about yourself, the things you have not been able to realize about yourself. There is a king living in you. Don't play around. Don't, don't play with it. The person you are worshipping that is up there, that great man, that great woman, is no way greater than you. Is no way better than you. The only thing they did was that they realized the king living in them and they developed it. When they developed it, they became history makers. Today, men and women are worshipping them. People want to be like them. People are aspiring to work for them. Why? Because the time they took working on themselves, some of us too are still today working for Uncle Sam. You can imagine two, two groups of two group of people. Okay, let's say two friends. Example. Two friends who went to the university and they both graduated. Okay, while in the university, this person after school was busy developing himself, developing his talent while in school. While this person was just busy, cannot wait for the certificate that the school will offer. This person was going to school, was also waiting for the certificate, but was developing the talent and the giftings he naturally had. And after school these two people got the result got certificates but this person who already developed himself so much you know what he just went for a, 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 um, an opportunity showed up and he he performed or he was given an opportunity to showcase that which he had been learning on the ground filming and just in few 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 months this person had gone way beyond international. This person was going from one country to the other, making impacts. And thereby, of course, when you develop your giftings, when you develop your talent, trust me, your account will be dropping. Before anybody calls you for anything, your account is, is being refilled. Your account, something is dropping. And believe me, it's not something, it's not something joke. The money that this person was chasing, this person is getting at ease. Because of this person realized the king living in him and this person was busy chasing societal norms, chasing societal pattern. This person just want to work for Uncle Sam. He, he cannot work to, he can't wait to work for Bill Gates company. Oh, he cannot wait to work for Warren Buffett. Oh, he cannot wait to, Jesus. He can't wait to work for Steve Jobs. While this person understood the king in him and was developing himself, believe and who do you think will become history makers? Why this person will be walking up and down looking for employment? Somebody is already making history. Why they were laughing at his talent? Why they were making mockery of him in school, wasting his time doing what they, what they are saying is irrelevant thing? When that guy was busy developing himself, some of his friends were laughing at him, saying he's doing irrelevant things. But today, this is the same guy who they are wishing they are begging for a job. Can I be your personal assistant? Oh, can I be your cleaner? Oh, can I be your wardrobe manager? Oh, can I be your driver? Can I be your cleaner? These are classmates. Because these other classmates do not understand the kings living inside of them. That is why they were busy wasting time. They were busy having fun. They were busy wasting their life. Thank you so much, Victoria, for joining. God bless you. Thank you so much, rich homie. Sam for joining. God bless you. Please share this video. Invite your friends. I'm talking about the king living in you. Alofen, thank you for joining. God bless you. Please share this video. Invite your friends. The king in you. There is a king living inside of ours. We have to wake it up. We have to wake it up. I told you people when I was, um, when I was starting this uh, program uh, earlier on, I just said that I, I grew up learning about some people. I grew up reading documentaries about people. I grew up um, watching um, histories and a lot of things. And I could see how much impact men that have gone years, years, long time ago had been made. The, the history they've left here on earth is, is, is the benefit I'm enjoying today. So thanks to them, thanks because they discovered the kings living in them, I wouldn't have been enjoying their, 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 the, what they left for us here on earth. Thanks to them, we would have still been in the dark ages. There wouldn't have been development. There wouldn't have been medications. There wouldn't have been good and qualified schools. 
no good road, no hospitals. Oh, Jesus, no lights, no internet, no nothing. I wouldn't have been even speaking to you here. There wouldn't have been internet conference between nations to another. Do you know these days, people don't even travel for conference. They do online conference. Somebody can just organize a conference and they sit in a particular hall and we just do a Facebook call. Facebook call and you're already connecting to nations. At ease. So that money they would have used to go spend for hotel and transportation, they will still put their money in their pocket, only register for the conference, sit down and learn. Sit down and be, and be you know, edified and be um, taught. So thanks to somebody who thought about connecting the world, called Mark Zuckerberg, me and you, would, I wouldn't have been uh, sitting there here to share this word with you. We would have been looking for a way to transport people from different countries to come and, and the stress, the stress they have to go through to get to another country just to attend the conference. So there is a king living inside of you. And that king is what will live for the next 300 and 400 years to come, if they will be. If they will be. Because I've heard this king, I've heard this topic, people talking about the king living in you, the king living in you when I was in, in Nigeria. It's all about spiritual, it's all about religion. Excuse me, we all talk about the king living in us, just uh, the spirit's being. It's all about the spirit of man connecting with the spirit uh, of God. And that is, that's all we all talk about there. And we all charge ourselves. And that's, and I just said and I said to myself, there is more. There is more kings living inside of us that we have not yet discovered. And we are not seeing it as kings. We, sometimes when we see the word king, we think everything that has to do with king is just spiritual word. It's just a spiritual word. No, it's not. There is a king living in you until you discover it. You, we have not, until you and I discover the kings living on, in us, we have not started living yet. We have not yet started living. And I said, one of those kings living in you is what I call talent. Is what I call talent. Another king living in you is your giftings. Is your giftings. So your talents and giftings are part of the kings living in you. Is there anything you have, you have passion to do? Is there anything you can do at ease, rather? Is there anything you can do at ease and you know this part of you is even at work, you can even find yourself doing it. Even while you are chasing Okotan, you will just see yourself doing it, but you're not really giving it the maximum time you're supposed to give it so that that thing can, you know, speak for the next 300 years of your life. That is the problem. Some of us have these things, but the time that we are giving to develop it is, is, is too small compared to the time we give to Uncle Sam. Compared to the time we want to do frivolities, we want to have fun, we want to enjoy life. Somebody say, come on, let's enjoy this world because you have just one life to live. And when you lose it, when you lose it, you are, you know, you are not going to have this uh, fun again. So just enjoy it. So there is a king in you. Thank you so much, Lisa, for that uh, contribution. She said, a king is built to rule and reign. What is the area you can rule over? So what is the area you can rule over? If I want to ask everybody, what is the area that you can rule over? Can you rule in technology? Can you rule in science? Can you rule in politics? Can you rule in education? Can you, what are the aspects of life can you rule? Is it in art and culture? Is it in music? What aspect of life do you have passion for? What aspect of life do you want to contribute to humans? Thanks to people who develop our musical equipment. Today we can enjoy good music, sweet symphony. Thanks to men who understood the power of the voice. And you know there are some people who cannot work, work or do work on daily basis without music. There are some students who cannot read effectively without music. 
There are some people who cannot live in a quiet environment. They assimilate faster with music. I myself, I can play music and be studying. I'm beautiful. I'm having, I'm enjoying what I'm, I'm reading. So imagine that somebody did not count music as something, as something important. You would have been depriving a, a set of people who enjoys reading, who enjoys music, sweet sound from that aspect of life. Because the, the, when, when, you, when you engulf yourself, you know, listening and listening over again, it keeps you healthy because you're going to be with happy and happy man lives longer, lives healthier. You are happy doing what you're doing. You are ease. You are enjoying yourself. So it is what you, as you're thinking it inside, your, your, your inner body becomes joyful, becomes happy and is building your person, is building your inside, I mean yourself. New, do you know that good music is even medicine? It's medicine. Happiness is medicine. A lot of people have heart attack, heart problem, um, cancer, a lot of things. Sometimes it's, it's not just what we eat. Sometimes it's the bitterness that is raging inside of our heart. The revenge, part, the things that we are taking, we cannot let go. The things we are holding back, the things we... Those anger, those malice, those you know, things you can't let go, those wickedness of heart is what is developing and eating up the man's body. Before you know, you go to the hospital and you hear that this person has shock, will have a shock or you have one thing or the other. But when you take in joy, you take in good music, you, you refresh your inner mind, you refresh yourself, you are even becoming healthier. You're even becoming more healthier. So there is a king living inside of you. There is a king living inside of you. Let's not all take it for granted. Let's not all take it for granted. God has embedded so much inside of us that we don't have any excuse or any reason to say that we are lacking in any aspect of life. Any aspect you have chosen, of course, is beautiful. So don't say, oh, because I, I am not a medical doctor, I just have passion for artwork, so I don't think the world can recognize me. Well, maybe you should check history. Maybe you should check history. And see how much impact men are making in that aspect of life you think it's not worth presentable. I, when I was talking about the rule of 10,000 hours, I was talking with so much passion because when you put in your talent and you give it the rule of, you add the rule of 10,000 hours, you become the best in the world. You gain mastery in that aspect of life. That you can stand in the world stage, confidently say that this is me. Take it out from me and I, I, you are not me again. In as much as we want to do Uncle Sam, in as much as we want to run up and down, get money, get, do you know that that talents, that giftings, they can even give you much more than you are looking for. Bill Gates designed the software today. Thanks to Bill Gates, we will not have had um, the, the, lap, the computer today. And do you know what that passion and that zeal has got to him? He became the richest man in the world. But even though they've, done, they've announced another richest man, the owner of, my, uh, of Amazon is now the richest man in the world, no longer Mark Zuckerberg, no, rather, no longer Bill Gates. But Bill Gates had built history for himself. He had, he, he had built personality himself. Today we are all celebrating him because he, we, he, he understood the king that was inside of him. He understood the passion he had for computer and he made sure he brought it to limelight. So until you understand the king living in you and give it time to develop, put in your passion, put in your zeal, in your time to develop it, well, you are still going to be working for Uncle Sam. You're still going to be working for Uncle Sam, running her to scatter, looking for wealth, looking for money, looking for money. The money that your talent would have given to you one million, one billion times is what you are, you are working, you are running head to, to, to get. 
Can you imagine? Understand the gifts. Understand the king in you. Understand there is a king living inside of you. And happy is that man and that woman who will bring out the king living in them. On that day, you take a U-turn and say to yourself, I want to live out my life to the fullest. I want to bring out the king living in me. That day is the day heaven will first and foremost rejoice that somebody is about to make history. One. Then secondly, you put your time to develop that, that talent, that gift is. You put in your zeal. It's like, it's like you can't live again. It's like this is just all you want to achieve in life. Jesus. You have built the next 300 years of your life. Believe me. There is a king living inside of you. Do not waste your life. Do not waste your time. Here on earth, a lot of people have come here on earth and they are gone. They are gone and nobody knows about it. It was as if they did not exist. It was as if they were passing shadows. It was as if there was nothing. They had nothing to contribute to the world. It was as if there were no kings living in them. But because they did not understand that there is a king in them. And that was why they all died and history today cannot remember anything about them. Today, Bill Gates is going up and down, making history. You can imagine his foundation, how many people, him and his wife, they are wiping tears away from people, even though he's not a Christian. He's, he has single-handedly going to India and Africa, trying to eradicate polio with his own money. <laughs> if you have passion to, to you know, to, you have, if you have passion to build schools, free schools, um, build free health care for people, it is when you develop the king living in you, that king in you will sprang up and spread around across the universe and produce resources, give you even much money, more than, more, more than the money that we used to develop, build those free hospitals and schools. Was your joy complete? Yes, it was complete because at the end of the day, you build free education for people, you build free road, you own, you build, you open waters for them, clean, you build free waters for them, you go free health care for them. You will, you are now happy, you are now fulfilled because you discover a king living in you. Because you discover just one king living in you, which was your talent. And that was how you were able to reach out to men. And that was how you were able to wipe away tears from people's eyes. And that was how you were able to bring joy to humanity. Just one king you discovered. You can imagine how much more that is remaining inside of you. I told you people that Bill Gates usually go on solitude two times every year. And do you know what he does? He just picks up a pen and a book. He just picks up a pen and a book. He goes to a quiet place. And then he writes. He puts all his thoughts to writings. When he's done putting it to writings, he goes to his company and those, pro those things will be produced into products. And when they are produced into products, he's selling. And those resources, those money he got from those thoughts is what is still going to go and develop different countries and benefit children and adults. People who are not countries that are suffering, he can donate to them. You can imagine the less privilege, what the, 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 the resources that he is getting. He is even using it to do even much more work than a lot of churches are doing out there, Jesus. Some of the churches are just collect, they are just tax collectors. All they know is to collect people's money. They forgot how, what God has asked them to do. Even atheists is busy making history for nations. I was telling somebody, I'm, I'm so, I, was, I was so amazed how that my country, Nigeria, is filled with rich people, rich, I mean, rich African churches. When we are looking at the top uh, richest churches in the world, type on your internet. They are from, most of the number one is from Nigeria. So if those men of God, five of them, five, five of them can say, 
Let us team together and bring out some amount of money. Just five top churches in Nigeria. Let five of us bring money. Let us build roads, free education. Let us open water, health care. We don't need the, the Bible to preach the word. By the time the unbelievers start seeing it, what they will do is that they will give their life to Christ. He said, if the church is saving a nation, if that is the place I want to belong to. If a church is doing this thing, I want to give my life to Christ. Because we don't need, there are so many religions, there are so many things we do that we are not supposed to do. We all carry the Bible and preach to a hungry man and say, God is good, give your life to Christ. And the person is hungry. And you think they will listen to you. They will not listen to us. But the, 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 the kingdom is, is more practical than in, that, it, that it's just a spoken word. Let us all stop playing ourselves and playing church and just and thinking about self, self, self. Let us, think the, let us think about the whole universe. That was what Jesus did. Jesus wasn't just thinking about himself. He was thinking about men. He was thinking about humans. He was thinking about people. He was going from one place to another, doing good, healing all them that were oppressed of the devil. He was busy doing good. So he has given us more than life can ever give to us, more than, more than we can ask for. God has given to us to go and impact his word, to go and impact men, to go and wipe away tears from people's eyes. There is a king living in you. Come on. There is a king living in you. There is a king living in you. We all need to wake up and discover the king living in us and so we can make history for, for God, so we can bless men, so we can glorify God, so we can bring joy to humanity. So somebody can read our histories and the work that we have done here on earth and say, please, if this woman, if this man, if this little boy, if this little girl did this, please, I want to give my life to Christ. When I talk, to, when I talk about um, Oprah Winfrey, some persons don't understand. There are women who have been sexually abused, but they all, they couldn't bear, they couldn't bear the shame and the psychological effect of it, they all went to give, they just killed themselves. They, they just died. They couldn't bear the shame of seeing the, their rapist every now and then. They went to end their lives. But do you know what Oprah Winfrey did? Do you know what Joyce Mea did? They, don't, they, didn't, they didn't see that. What they saw was the better part of them. They went to develop themselves. They became a motivational speakers. They are busy inspiring nations. When I listen to these women, I just feel like, God, I haven't even started doing anything. They inspire me so much. I can imagine a man without arms and legs. I can imagine without what Pastor Nick is doing. Somebody would have, would have said, God, you made me without arms and legs, so I can't face the generational shame and disgrace. I can't face to stand others who have arms and legs. I have to just give up my life. But he, he wasn't saying it as a weak point. He had mouth to talk. You know what he did? He went to develop himself. He went to study so much that when he, any time he had the opportunity to speak in the crowd, he speaks wisdom. That was what Oprah Winfrey did. The grandmother understood the power in her spoken words. She, the grandmother saw that she lost the talk. The, mother didn't, the grandmother didn't see it as a weak point, but, a, but as a strength and began to build her. And today, they are making history for God's sake. They are busy inspiring people all over the country just because they have mouth to talk and they realize it. it's a gift. It's a gift, just talking, talking. Just talking. Some of our children can talk beautifully. Let's not shut them up. Instead, let us build them. If they always talk rubbish, instead of shouting at them to stop talking, what you have to do is to build them. Give them beautiful books to read. Give them um, audio to listen to. Give them beautiful um, um, history about you know things, how they happen, history about countries, and how they came to be, and all that. Develop their mind. 
clear their mind. Do you know when they stand in the congregation and they speak, every mother, every father will want to be, you want their children to be like your own. Because when your children talk, they talk out of this world. They talk with so much authority and so much wisdom is gushing out of their mouth. And everybody's like, wow. And these are what people are paying hugely to go listen to Nick, to go listen to a prolific talk. Just to talk. Come on. There is a king in you. There is a king in you. There is a king in you. I hope somebody has learned something. I hope somebody has been blessed. I hope somebody has been inspired today. That there is a king living in you. There is a king living in us. Let us not forget too soon. As the clock is ticking, our life is going. The world is coming to an end. Jesus is going to ask all of us, what did you do with the talent I gave to you? Let it not be accounted for us that day that we did not do anything with what we've been given. Please. No matter how, how the time is short, you and I can still make this history. You and I can still contribute to humanity. You and I can still be world changers. You and I can still be history makers. I am just using this opportunity to charge all of us to start thinking about ourselves, to start thinking about our lives and years to come, to start thinking about humanity, to start thinking about God. Thank you, Sam Vitalis, for joining. God bless you, sir. I hope you have been, you've been blessed today. Um, hopefully, I don't know if I'll be traveling tomorrow, but if not, um, maybe Sunday or Monday, then we'll continue this topic. I have a lot. I have a lot to talk about the king living inside of you. Thank you so much for joining, or every one of you who joined. Thank you for those who shared. I am really humbled and I'm really grateful. God bless you so, so much. God bless you. I am really inspired. I'm really, really inspired. Thank you for those of you who contributed. Let me read some of your comments. Um, Ma Vivian Taylor said, Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Um, she said, Good words, Dovsi. Thank you so much, Ma. Uh, she still said, Hi, Julie. Thanks for coming. Okay, that's for another person. Okay, she said, Happy in your kingship hallelujah okay she said wake up kings in me king in me wake up king in me okay she said amen be careful who you have fun of oh yes that's it be careful who you make fun of because they they might be the next history makers okay uh, Marlisa said good day okay I think she's talking to everybody okay uh, let me see let me see let me see Oh, uh, Sir Uchechuku said, There is a king living in me. Amen. Thank you, sir. Hello, Tosi. Okay, hello, ma'am. Um, let me see. She said, Hello, everyone. Mr. Uchi said, Hello, everyone. Uh, Miss Visayo said, Hello, beautiful sister. Hello, ma. Okay. My husband said, You are very much audible. Okay, that's, that's for the first time I asked if I was audible. Mom Nancy said you're very audible. Okay, I've said that before. Um, okay, 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 okay. I think I have just, uh, I think I still have a few of them to read. Okay, I don't know if I can see the remaining. <laughs> but everyone who contributed, God bless you for this. Your contribution is welcome. Thank you so much. Keep sharing this video and invite your friends and tag somebody. There is a king living in you. So have a wonderful day, guys. And God bless you all. So bye-bye.